Hi everyone! Welcome to Storytime with Michelle and welcome to week 11 of our Soar into Summer reading program. Congratulations if you've been able to keep up and read all 10 books so far. If you haven't, no worries. There's a link right here to the full playlist of all the stories we've read this summer. Now this week we're reading a really fun book. I'm excited! It's Fly High, Fly Guy. And if you've been keeping up with Storytime with Michelle, you know I've already read one of the Fly Guy books already. I'll put a link to that book down below, uh, but I haven't read this one yet, so let's get to it. Ready? Here we go. Fly High, Fly Guy by Ted Arnold. A boy had a pet fly. He named him Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name. Buzz. <laughs> Chapter one. One day, Buzz said, it's time to take a road trip. Fly Guy wanted to go too. He's too little, said mom. He might get lost. Hmm. Sorry, said dad. Fly Guy stays home. He shut the trunk. Okay, let's hit the road. The family drove and drove. Wow, look at that map. Looks like they're going to the beach. They stopped for a picnic. Mom opened the trunk. Fly Guy flew out. Dad said, how did he get in there? <laughs> Buzz looks happy though. Just don't lose him, said mom and dad. Now, let's eat. Chapter two, they drove to the beach. Hmm, <laughs> looks like they had fun at the beach too. Then it was time to go. Mom and dad said, is Fly Guy lost? No, said Buzz, here he is. Buzz! There he is inside the shell. They drove to the art museum. Ooh, look at those cool paintings. <laughs> Looks like Fly Guy gave the painting a kiss. Then it was time to go. Mom and Dad said, Is Fly Guy lost? No, said Buzz. Here he is. Looks like he was camouflaged in the painting. They drove to the fun park. If I remember correctly, Fly Guy's favorite food is hot dogs. Then it was time to go. Mom and Dad said, is Fly Guy lost? No, said Buzz. Here he is. <laughs> Chapter three. It's time to go home, said Mom. Let's hit the road, said Dad. They drove and drove and drove and drove and drove and drove, 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 and drove. But they did not get home. We're lost, said mom and dad. Buzz and Fly Guy had an idea. Buzz said, fly high, Fly Guy. Fly Guy flew high into the sky. He used his super fly eyes to spy their house. Fly Guy led the way home. Thank you, Fly Guy, said Mom and Dad. You saved the day. Yay, Fly Guy! The end. Hmm. Wasn't that a fun book? Fly Guy sure is a helpful pet, isn't he? help them get home. Hmm, do you have a helpful or a very smart pet? I'd love to hear all about it. Why don't you leave me a message down in the comment section below and tell me about your smart pet. I actually happen to have a smart pet myself. His name is Pepe and he's a little dachshund and he can pick up blankets and cover himself under the blankets. It's the cutest thing you've ever seen and I happen to think it's pretty smart. So tell me about your smart pet and let me know what you thought about the book. And I'll also link down below to Riff, Reading is Fundamental. That's the nonprofit 
organization which supports literacy and they're actually the ones who organize the entire summer reading program. They're a wonderful organization and they've got lots of tools on their website that support each and every book that I've been reading as a part of the summer program. So I can't wait to hear from you and until next time, happy reading!